I was finally given access to Webflow Cloud Beta and I couldn't be more excited. I've been looking forward to this ability to be able to merge a Webflow website with a server-side rendered, fully scalable, full stack application. We're gonna start by initializing a Webflow Cloud project locally on your machine. We're then gonna set up a GitHub repo to push your Webflow Cloud project up to. Finally, we're gonna synchronize that GitHub repo with Webflow. Get yourself Node.js installed. Ooh, the website looks nice. Create a folder wherever you like to create websites. I like it inside of sites and inside of your terminal CD, which is change directory. And I'm going to drag my folder in there and change directory into that folder. Now you need to install the Webflow CLI globally. You could have done this outside of this folder. It doesn't really matter. We're going to run npm install G, which means we're going to install it on the entire system at Webflow slash Webflow CLI. It should take a few seconds. I think I've even got it installed already. So it might just update. Brilliant. And if you go on Webflow version, you should see a number there that shows you've got it installed. Now we want to create a new Webflow website that is going to host our Webflow cloud project. So if we go over to Webflow, we'll go through DevLink, but there are some components in here that we've been playing around with just building this website. But presumably this is a fully functioning website. Everything's done and we want to incorporate Webflow, a Webflow cloud project in here. So we go to terminal and we run Webflow cloud init. And what would you name to, like to name the project? I would recommend naming it something. I mean, this is a flow based website. So we go flow base. Uh, we're going to use Next.js. This is where we're going to put the application, which URL is a user going to go to for it to automatically flip to our Webflow Cloud project. So let's let's just do app. That's fine. OK, so it's going to authorize us here and then we get to choose that project. And it's sorting out DevLink automatically for us, whether you're going to use it or not. And here we have a fully functioning Webflow Cloud project. There's our DevLink folder full of all the components that we imported. In fact, let's open this in cursor, install all the packages. Cool, we've installed all the packages. npm run dev. So if we open that up, we're getting a 404. Let's try going to app. And there we go. Welcome to Webflow Cloud. Amazing. So we've confirmed that basically our app is f f running and functioning correctly. Now to get this into Webflow, we need to create a GitHub repo. So let's do that now. Go to GitHub and we're going to create a new repository. Name it the same thing. Description is fine. It could be private. Leave the add me, read me file and just create a repository. You should get some instructions here. If you follow those, we're probably more interested in this one. But I'll make sure we're in the right folder by CD in and then dragging our project into there. Remote, copy this. And push it up to GitHub. You should see if we refresh here, we've got all our files. So now we've got our code inside of GitHub. We now need to sync that over to Webflow. So if we go to Webflow here and go to site settings <clears throat> and to Webflow Cloud, we log into GitHub. Install the GitHub app here. We're going to select our repository here and authorize that and now we can create a new project we're going to name this because you can have multiple um, projects within your uh, webflow cloud website name them correctly ours is just apps we're just going to stick with that and now you should see the github repo that you shared create project and we want to set the main branch that we created and then the mount path is slash app, create environment. If we click here, okay, so I think it looks like it's done. So if we go to our website, 
What if we go to slash app? Our Webflow Cloud project is seamless. So it's just all under the same URL. The user wouldn't have any clue. And this app could be fetching data from external data sources or anything like that. But we know behind the scenes, a Webflow Cloud project. So I hope that was helpful. Hope it cleared up a few things of how these are sort of work. I've got a course on this, which you can go uh, by at patreon.com slash zero X five way and five, where we're just going through a lot of react basics and things like that. Now that I have access to this, I can start producing some more Webflow cow specific content. Let me know down in the comments. If you want to know anything or whether you have any questions about sort of stuff, I'd be more than happy to answer them in the questions. So, Cheers for tuning in, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, happy no coding.